All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting in the Freedom Studios. Uh, before we get started on today's video, I just want to give a real big, huge thanks to everyone and your tremendous amount of support uh, for the channel and myself. Uh, this being demonetized uh, by uh, YouTube has given me kind of a, I don't know, a sense of freedom. I can do things. I can pick this up right here. I can do this and not have to worry about being, oh, that video is not going to uh, create any uh, AdSense or money or funds or whatever. Uh, this guy right here is the Banshee, Mark 9. I love this thing. We got our video review coming out on it here very soon. And on top of it, we actually have the uh, Cyclops Gen 2 from the guys over there at Primary Arms. This thing is just unreal. If you're blind, this is the way to go. I'm here to tell you. Uh, also, a huge shout out to one of the channel sponsors, Callaway uh, Ballistics. Uh, we, if you go over to my website, there's a link over there. Use the discount code KB32 and you get uh, free shipping on orders uh, exceeding $200, which is actually pretty good. Uh, I had a guy ask about this right here, bridgethegap.com. Aldra over there. Uh, awesome thing. This is pure, uh, handmade, wood, beautiful, stained, incredible. All right, what are we talking about? Uh, I talked to John Crump this morning. Uh, if you do me a favor, go over there, uh, John Crump News. I'm going to put the link to his YouTube channel down below. Uh, he, he's got a really good insight and has some good sources for some of the things that are going on in the world today in the, uh, <laughs> as it relates to the ATF. And uh, this was kind of a unique thing. So I wanted to get some insight, and that's why I, I decided to go ahead and do this. Call him directly. Uh, we got the inside news about this guy right here, the Rare Breed Trigger. Now, this is a really cool drop-in trigger system. Uh, a lot of people say, well, there, there's a screw-up on it. Yeah, that's true. If you go over to Rumble, i show you how to fix that. And uh, the cool thing about these triggers is it has a force reset. And what that does is that with each pull, uh, when the bolt comes back, it forces the finger forward, and when you pull it again, it goes off. Each pull, you have to pull it each time. The only thing that happens is that it has a forced reset. So it, it forces your finger forward, and once it goes forward, it uh, the disconnect is able to be pulled out and it lets the hammer go forward, which gives you a simulated type of fast uh, six cyclic rate of fire. <laughs> and when I first saw this, I was just thinking to myself, it, it's just a matter of time uh, before somebody does something cra uh, with this, with the ATF, as far as I'm concerned. But what they didn't do, and this is according to my sources, John Crump, uh, what they didn't do is they didn't send this in for um, a review to the ATF. So the ATF never was able to create an opinion on this. This is what my question was to him. And I said, well, what happens now? And I'm going to read you the letter because I have it right here. Uh, and this was posted last night. John Crump posted it. CRS Firearms did a real quick video on it. But this is the letter that was sent to Rare Breeds. But again, let me let me tell you, um, I've got, I, uh, I, I don't know what they're going to do with these. Uh, they have determined that these are in themselves a machine gun. So you, it's just like having an auto sear. The sear itself is serialized. So a couple things that you can do, and I probably will do this because uh, Guns and Gear actually told me, go ahead and get your FFL 0207, and you can have as many of these as you want. All right, let's read this letter real quickly because this is what it's all about. Mr. Kevin Maxwell, Rare Breed Triggers, LLC, down there in Orlando. And this comes from the BATFA, Alcohol Bureau of, uh, Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms and Explosives, the Tampa Field Division. Uh, dear Mr. Maxwell, this is my storytelling voice. This is in reference to the Rare Breed Triggers model, FRT-15, manufactured and marketed by your company. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms and Explosives examined this trigger and determined that it is a machine gun, determined it to be a machine gun as defined in the NFA. Yeah. Okay, real quickly, don't forget about KB32Tech.com. <laughs> the NFA defines a firearm to include, in relevant part, a machine gun. Any weapon which shoots is designed to shoot or can be readily restored to shoot automatically more than one shot without a manual reloading by a single function of a trigger. The term shall be 
also include the frame or receiver or any such any part designed and intended solely and exclusively or combination of parts designed and intended for use in converting a weapon into a machine gun and any combination of parts which a machine gun can be assembled if such parts in possession are under the control of a person. These guys need to figure out what a run-on sentence is. Italics added. As the rare breed triggers FRT as a machine gun or an NFA, it is subject to the registration, transfer, taxation, and possession restrictions application to these regulated weapons, which include criminal penalties related in illegal transfer and possession of said weapons, uh, blah, 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 $10,000, yada, yada, yada. There it is, right there. So there were some people saying, where's your letter to John Crump? Right there's the letter. Uh, and it's a real letter. I don't have any reason to doubt that that is not a real letter. Uh, but what we got to do is we got to figure out what's going to happen to this. And, and I just blatantly asked, I said, what's going to happen to people who bought these things? Because they bought them in good faith, let me put that over there, that these guys were not uh, by the manufacturer to be determined uh, to be a uh, machine gun. Uh, so, yeah, what's going to happen now? Well, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see. There's no opinion to be written about it uh, by the ATF. And according, John and I were talking about it this morning uh, because they never submitted this for a review to the ATF. So uh, I don't know. Buyer beware. Not telling you what to do. I'm not a lawyer or whatever. You got to determine what you want to do. But it's interesting that uh, it was a matter of time, in my opinion, that uh, this was going to be an issue. So with that being said, uh, again, thanks to everybody uh, for supporting the channel. I greatly appreciate it. Welcome to the new Patreon guys out there. That's something I really appreciate. I'm not asking for, uh, but I uh, look to earn my income through the website that I am going to be revamping and producing a lot of cool videos, uh, a lot of cool product reviews, and a lot of cool things through the affiliate links. That's how I will substitute what these idiots over there uh, at YouTube and those, ch those little children who run a major corporation and they, all they know is that the new world order. <laughs> but with your help, we don't have to rely on them. And like I said, I can build guns and stuff like that. Now, people are asking about Rumble. I am on Rumble. Uh, uh, I'll put a link down. I think there is a link down below on Rumble, but that's where we'll actually do our assembly videos. Uh, things like that because I do know they will take those videos down. They don't like that stuff. So that's cool. And when we do those, I'll make an announcement and put the stuff in there. But anyway, thanks so much, everybody, for your continued support. Uh, it's amazing to me that all of a sudden the, uh, the algorithm basically turned around for me yesterday. It's, it's a breath of fresh air to be able to do what we want without being under the watchful eye of these idiots and worried about the yellow uh, dollar signs. So with that being said, guys, we always end them like this. God bless America. God bless America. God bless America. God bless men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom is not free. Yeah. These are a lot of fun when you can get them to run. And uh, I'll just leave it at that. KB32, I am out of here. Y'all be good. Boom.